Okay, we're going to get started with just a brief, brief look at the uh, keyframing in Final Cut Pro X. Uh, let's see, if we take, how about this shot here? Uh, if we take this shot, for example, you can click on it and go into the uh, settings over here, and you'll see you, you have the options to add keyframes next to a lot of different things, like the opacity of the overall clip right here. Now, if you do that, you can add in a keyframe fairly easily, and let's say we go back a little bit, add another one, and turn this down, and it's instantly applied. But you can't really see where they are on the timeline. That's where this comes in. You can hit these arrows right here and say, Show Video Animation, which brings up this very tall box here. And you can see here, Compositing. If you click that, it opens it up, and then here are your keyframes. You even have handles for the video, just like you would with audio, and you can drag that out to add in a fade right there. I can pull this back up, and you can see that these two were actually already there. These are the keyframes I added, which we can go in and should be able to delete. But you can pull these handles for, for a very quick fade up and fade out. And you can use this for uh, the color, uh, transforms, trims, distorts. It's all the same thing. So you can see the keyframes right there.